Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. God's doing big things in your life. This is a song I love by Jason Gray that I've just had stuck in my head here on the radio a lot. Um, for this version, I'm going to teach you with the chords, the easy four chords that I often teach. The G, D, E minor, and C. The cool thing about this song is the song has four parts. The verse, the pre-chorus, the chorus, and the bridge. On the verse, the chorus, and the bridge, it's going to play the same order. G, D to E minor to C. So let's start out with the chorus. I wanna live like this girl tomorrow. Now the key, a lot of people struggle with strumming. Strumming's about timing. What I recommend is start out just chopping down. I'm doing a little, a little, like muting the strings and stop and then strum it again, but start out just down. I wanna live like a tomorrow. words here. I got my iPad over here for the lyrics. Again, the, the uh, verse is going to be the same thing. Hold on. Is it really life that I'm living? Because I don't feel like I deserve it. Every day that I wake, every breath that I take, you give it. So you're going to run through that twice, that G, D, E minor, C. That's for your verses. And then that pre-chorus when it goes right here, right now, while the sun is shining down. So that's just D, E minor, C, D. You're kind of going in a circle. D, right here, right now, while the sun is shining down. You can go back in the chorus. I want to live like a girl tomorrow. Again, that bridge is going to use the same four chords. I take for granted. I waste another say thank you. Let's go back up that chorus. I want to live to tomorrow. So practice with your strumming. Practice that kind of just picking down each note. With the G, start with the sixth string. With the D, the fourth, the E minor, the fifth, and the C, the fifth. I want to live. And also, if you want to change, uh, look up. I'll put a link in my um, description here. Like if you want to play the, the key that he plays in, use the track method. We can play E down here. This is what it's called track method because you stay on the track. E, slide down, B, slide there, C sharp minor, A. See these two fingers never left. It's a 
great way to advance your playing is work on switching the key. So first play G, D, E minor, C, then play E, B, C sharp minor, A. Work on those two ways of playing it. It'll really help advance your playing. Let's jump into the devotion. So for this devotional, I like the part it says, um, I want to live like there's no tomorrow, love, like I'm on borrowed time. In the book of Psalms, chapter 90, verse 12, it says, David says, teach me to number my days so I may gain a heart of wisdom. What are you doing today that, that says you are numbering your days? So often I hear a lot of people say, um, I have this long to do something, or they kind of put things off. When the Bible teaches us to number our days, it also says we're not promised tomorrow. We don't know what tomorrow brings. So I challenge you with this video to, as David did, learn to number your days. Have a sense of urgency. Have a sense of passion and excitement for life because each day is a gift. That's why it's called the present. I love that little quote, by the way. But number your days so that you know you're in God's will and you are living each day with a passion and a joy that others can see Christ around you. Like the book in Matthew says, Matthew 5, I think it is, let your light so shine before the Lord that others may see your good works and glorify God. When we no have our days as though they are numbered instead of we've just got 50 more years, 20 more years, 100 more years, whatever it is. When we live as though our days are numbered, there's a sense of excitement and anticipation and knowing if I want to do something, I better do it now because the Bible says we're not promised tomorrow. Hope you guys have a great day. Let's live like there's no tomorrow and love like we're on borrowed time. Have a great day. God bless you.